Hey everyone, Lori here. And I am coming to you without a guest, unscripted, because I woke up this morning and realized there's something on my heart that I need to share. So as you all know, I was diagnosed with breast cancer almost five years now. And everybody asks me, how are you doing? How's it going? And some people are genuinely curious and interested. And I share what I want to share. It's really, you know, for lack of a better way to say it, it's my right to share what I want to share at whatever time I want to share it with whomever I want to share it. And then there's other people that'll ask because there's a morbid curiosity. They just want to gossip. So I'm sure you've all experienced this before in your life. We've all been here. We've all been through something that we want to share with the world and then something that we're kind of like, no, not really. I'm not going to really go there with them today. And I just want to come on here and say, it's okay. It's okay for you to share as much or as little as you want with people. You don't owe anybody anything. I have some really close friends that I didn't share what I was going through because I wasn't at a point where I couldn't share with what I was going through. And for years, I made myself wrong. So I just want to come on here today to be like, it's okay. It's really okay to be wherever you're at. Whether you're a cancer person or not, we all have struggles in life. We all have stuff that we're dealing with. And so if you want to talk to people and be full disclosure, awesome. If you want to talk to people and just have it be certain selective things that you share with them, great. And if right now in your life, you are at a point where you're like, I just can't bring myself to share this with somebody just yet, it's okay. The goal is, is that you are true to yourself. You are your own advocate. And if you're in a negative place, know that there are people there who genuinely want to support you. And if you can't talk to people in your life, then that's when you reach out to professionals, right? Even professionals have professionals helping them. Coaches have coaches. Psychiatrists have psychiatrists. So just get that there's nothing wrong. You're just dealing with whatever you're dealing with. And one of the things too that I really want to talk about, you know, one of the things I get a lot of is you have cancer? Yeah, I have cancer. I've had it now since 2017 and every day, I get to choose, am I cancer or am I somebody with cancer? There's a distinction there. And it took a brilliant person to have me see that for myself. They pointed it out to me. And I was in this world of like denial, fear, even with all the work that I do for myself every day, there's still underlying issues that we all have that we're all dealing with. And so I want to change the narrative. I want to reframe it. I am 46 years old and I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I am healthy. I am strong. I am free of fear, I am someone who has cancer. And I may not be that person that you see that is frail, with no hair, you know, those images that they like to use to have certain emotions come up. But I am clear that I am sitting here with you today, feeling strong, feeling vibrant, 
feeling uh, at peace with what my deck of cards have laid out for me. And it's because of doing the work. Am I perfect at it? No. Are there days where I don't want to exercise? Absolutely. Are there days where I don't want to feed myself nutritional, you know, nutritious food? Like I don't have my protein shake that I vow to myself that I must have every day. Yeah. There's some days I don't feel like it. There's some days that I'm tired. There's some days I'm in a bad mood. But there are tools that have you recognize like, hey, this is where I am. And that they get you out of that. So you don't live there very long. I always say, give yourself a day, right? Give yourself a day to be mad. Give yourself a day to just lay on the couch and not do anything, but don't live there very long. The next day, get up and go. We have one life. We have one shot. We may not be here tomorrow, whether or not you have cancer. So what are you going to do today to make yourself proud? And so I'm going to share with you some of the things that I do. So I make sure that I sleep. You know, I really stay true to turning off technology an honor, uh, an hour before I go to bed. So that way I can really get a restful sleep. I make sure to get some sleep. And if I don't have a good night's sleep, then I schedule a time to lay down, right? A time during the day where I'm at my lowest point. I know four o'clock for me is like my, oh, I'm exhausted time. So I take some time to just even sit there. I don't get on my phone. I just sit there. Maybe with a book, maybe I will nap. I also stay true to eating right. So I chose to become pescatarian. Well, really it chose me because I was having some adverse reactions to having meat. So I eat mostly vegetables and fruits. I do eat carbs. I do um, have protein, quality protein shakes to balance those out. As you know, I've partnered with a company purposeful, right? Purposely in order to have quality nutrition available. So if you are in need, please reach out. I'll give you all the info with no obligation. I also make sure that I intake a lot of water. Water is life. <laughs> it really is. So that doesn't mean coffee, that doesn't mean sugary drinks, that doesn't mean diet drinks, that doesn't mean iced tea. Sometimes you just need water. And the other thing that I do is I just check in with myself. Where am I? How am I feeling? What are the thoughts going in my head? What am I saying to myself about myself, about other people, about the things I need to do? What does that look like? And I take account of all of it. And then I handle what I need to handle in order to meet, for me to have an effective day and actually not be a jerk to the people around me. That's what I mean by doing the work. So there's some of you out there that are putting everybody else first, that are putting yourself last, that are keeping yourselves so busy because you either don't wanna deal with it, you're avoiding it, you're in denial. But I promise you, there will come a point in time where you have to deal with it and you don't have to do it alone. So if you are looking for support 
in what you're doing well, what you're not doing well. You want it. You want that to be discovered in a safe place with somebody who will not pass judgment, but is really just coming for your own greatness, is there for your own greatness and out of love, is really there to serve you, then please reach out. I hope that this, this was a value. I hope you got something from this today. And if you did, and you'd like to leave me a little note, I would love to hear it. Thank you so much.